Ryan, it was a disheartening discovery for the owner of the Grand Theater who had been trying to renovate the historical building for community use. Javier Har Jaramillo says it's not only put a damper on his spirit, but it's also put a bigger hole in his pocket. I guess I just felt violated. That's the only, that's really the only thing I can do. I, I, I felt raped, really. Javier Jaramillo is devastated. This is where they broke in. Jaramillo said it was left wide open. He believes the burglars sawed through the bolt and kicked the door in, stealing tools, electronics, and worst of all, fuses and copper wiring, leaving the theater without power. I mean, they just helped themselves to everything. Jaramillo bought the Grand Theater last year in November. He has a vision for this piece of Harlingen history. A sanctuary, really for performers, for artists, for art lovers, and for people that just want to be entertained without having to go to bigger cities. He wants to give back and hopes this place will not only inspire, but also reignite a sense of pride among his community. I want people to, that are thirsty for spirit to be able to come here and, and just really find themselves and find love and find peace and, and within themselves and to really learn to value themselves because just like this area, it's on the up and up, but for a long time it was... It was run down. It was thrown away. He says that's why he can't help but take this theft personally. When I see it, I feel like I'm really trying to do something to help. And they don't care, you know. It's quite the setback, but Jaramillo pushes forward, hoping that his dream of a youth performing arts center will soon become a reality. He says it will cost an estimated $1 million to complete the renovation of the Grand Theater, but believes when completed, it will be worth every penny. If you'd like to donate to the Renee Coco Foundation, please visit valleycentral.com. Live in the studio, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.